Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this video, uh, which I am going to give my opinion upon the release here of uh, Bleeding Edge. If you don't know what Bleeding Edge is, it is a game developed by Ninja Theory. If you don't know who they are, they did uh, Hellblade, Sonya's uh, Sacrifice, I believe it was called, and they got the Hellblade 2 coming up. It's basically the main, or at least one of the main games that's been advertised for the upcoming Xbox Series X games. The one where that lady's like talking and her, like she does all this different face. A facial expressioning and stuff you see these like people walking in these robes and like straw mask head gear then there's a storm happening rock if you've seen basically it's xbox series x uh uh advertisements basically updates coming up uh that's basically the game that's good been used for the most part now what the game is itself of bleeding edge is it's a 4v4 hero combat kind of game mostly melee they do have some ranged combatants, but think basically, you know, your Overwatches, Paladins, Dota, whatever, you know, it's like, like, you got your heroes, and this one's only got, what, it's got five of the damagers, three of the healers, slash porters, and three tanks. That's your basic heroes right now. And, uh, they, of course, vary in difficulty and just learn how to use, uh, Game modes, from what I can tell, there's only two right now. There's, uh, basically, it's these, uh, mode has, like, these batteries that you gotta collect and dispose it, but there's, like, a time first when you gotta try to collect the batteries, then once that's done, then there's the, the placement area comes up between the different selections of placement areas. You can turn them in, and you gotta wait a second to turn them in. And there's basically their version of domination, you know. It's, like, it starts off with one point, then two points, then two gets up to three points at some point you know it like happens over a periodic of time and there are times between those points in which there's downtime in which you earn points in both so these games by killing the enemy now like i said it is mostly a melee focused combat game but it has like i said some heroes that do some ranged attacks there's uh, at least three i believe one one in each category one actually no there's like I think there's two of them that are in the the damagers and one that is a healer. But in a game where most of your guys are melee combatant characters, I find the ranged people kind of annoying. You know, it's like it's like they're a little too OP being in this type of game. You know, it's like it's supposed to be mainly melee focused, kind of like I would say uh, for honor. But you have people who also can be the, like these big hockey archers shooting you from a distance kind of you know like you want to do damage to them but you can't because you can't get close to them because they're other teammates and stuff and it's so annoying and one of them like i said is a healer so but the thing to balance him out is, is he can't heal and shoot at the same time he can only do one or the other he can't do both so that's at least that aspect of balance but my overall opinion about it opinion about it i do find this game to be in balance not just the aspects of the cares but more of of the uh players more so you know if you're either good at this or you're bad at this and then the aspects of it like also it, it's one of those games where it focus so wholeheartedly on teamwork like you don't too much need it but overall you do like if you're being swarmed by at least two enemies if you're not just facing off one v one i mean even then it's like you can have a person who is a damager out do a tank you know because it's just like, you know, like I said, you're either good at the game or you're bad at the game. It's like there's no, like, middle ground of your, you know, your casual game. Or, you know, it's just like you're either one end or the other. There's no in-between. There's none. Maybe over time we'll see that. But, like, I, I, that was actually my complaint about it when I was actually starting Alpha. I actually played in the Alpha, like, when it first hit. Like, when it was first going out to play years to play. I was there. And that was my main complaint. I felt like if you, you're good at this, you're basically a pro, and if you're bad at this, you're like a huge ass noob. Like you just, it's like you know, you're getting to the Call of Duty nowadays, and you're it's your first time getting to Call of Duty. You've never played a shooter before. You've never played actually even a game before. This is your first game going in, and you're going in with. I wouldn't even say Call of Duty. What would it be like a like say uh you've never played a uh, team based hero game, before. and you know you're going in with. Like Dota 2 or League of Legends, you're going in with that, and you're not just going in with that. You're going with five people who say they're pros, you know, got the pro status, but they're all noobs who got carried, and you're going in there with them, and you're all just getting destroyed, kind of thing. You know, it's just like, 
mm. like you're you're bottom tier, they're top tier, and they're whooping your ass. Kind of how people like to do uh, Smurfy, you know? How they like to have fun destroying people who are new to the game. It's basically that, you know. Yeah, and this is at the beginning of the game. Like I said, you're either really good at it, you basically a pro, or you're a noob. But not in the aspects of that. Like I said, you could also have some aspects of having good teamwork. You know, you could be a good team because it was like every game I've played so far, so for the last one, we were doing good. And that's the other thing about it, like how hard it emphasizes on teamwork. Because either you're the team that's doing good and you're just dominating, or you're the team that's being dominated and you're just being dominated. There's no coming back. There's no tug of war in this game. There's no, you know, possibility of coming back. Either you're getting destroyed or you're doing the destroying. And that is it. There's no in between, like I said, even on like aspects of a 1v1. And that's what I find bad about this game. You know, it's a good game to try and have fun in, but like I said, you're either on one end or the other. You're either you're doing good and you're destroying, or you're doing bad and you're being destroyed. And there's, like I said, no comeback. But like, like I said, also it possibly could be the aspects of coming or aspects of time, and we'll see it get better. You know, more of a balance to it, more of to the game, or just more balance to these uh, players playing it and just being good. But we'll see in time. This is just like I said, my first impression day one. These aspects, it just it feels like I said, it's an imbalancing um, aspect of game. Not to mention the game itself; it's hard to balance it out, especially with, like I said, you have a majority of these characters who are melee. You have to be up point, up point. You have to be up close and personal to really hurt the enemy team. Where you have some characters who are ranged characters. Granted, that they can't be too hard to actually shoot at you, but still, especially if you're trying to get away, it's like you just see your, your team getting destroyed and trying to get away, and you got one of these fuckers who's got, like this, there's one damager who's got a, like, basically a gat, and it doesn't go up too fast, but it's basically, if you're being shot at, you're just fucked. You're just fucked. That's one thing I think is the biggest complaint there is to the aspect of this game. You have majority of players melee focused, and you have some of them Grant a few, but still some of them that do range damage, which I find itself to be an imbalance to the game. If you're gonna make a melee combat game, make it melee. Like the, I said with Foron, you know, it's mostly a melee combat game. But think about it: how pissed off people would be if they introduced a character whose main ability was to just do damage from distance with a bow and arrow. Seriously, he probably could have like a sword off to his side, some sort. But the majority of what he can do and be a badass is doing damage from a distance. Why, you know, you take, you're trying to take on one t guy with sword and some guy's peppering you from a distance. There, how annoying and just pissed off would you be? That's basically what range characters are in this game. Like I said, it's a, understandable that they try to balance them to where they can't be too far away to where they can shoot you. But any distance is still annoying because if you're... 1v1 in a guy who is also a melee guy, and you got his team off to the side here with ranged combat doing damage, you're fucked. Even if it's two people up. I mean, granted, it sucks if it's two people up on close on you and doing damage, but seriously, when you try to 1v1 a guy and you got a guy behind you who is his teammate shooting you, and you can't do anything about him, even once you got him destroyed, you can't turn around and try to get to him. By the time you get to him, boom, you're dead. It's, it's an annoyance, you know, it's like, I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it just feels hard to see how there can be a good balance to this game. They're trying, I'll give them props for that, I oh, will give them props for that, they try with the aspects of how they show it with the race. But how do you balance this game, is my question, how do you balance this game where you have a melee focused game with some characters that do range? And overall just balance in general, because it's not hard to see it balanced with just melee combat only characters. I have that. I said, for honor. But how do you balance this game out? That is my question for you guys. How do you balance this game out? I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to get much focus. It might get the best focus it can, like the aspects of for honor, but for honor, there was issues with that beyond the game itself, I think. It was just the game itself. There are other aspects to this game, of course. You know, you got the cosmetics to it, and here you have. A, uh, they basically have like chips, you know, they're basically your, uh, hang on, let's see, where is that thing of mine at? Basically this thing here, you know, you have this, and 
in there of uh, added aspects like a, a hero's uh, you can balance them out to you however you want. You know, you can do it to how you want your abilities to do damage. You know, of how you trying to balance them out yourself. Like I said, of uh, you want them to have uh, the cooldown for your abilities. Bit, you know shorter you know the your alt they do have alts you can increase the alt duration just a little bit you know or you know how much damage it does if it does damage at all you know base health things of the such you know to try and best balance your characters too but of course I say I said with uh, of watch though more so I'd say Apex Legends how it's kind of start off with a few characters if you like like a character to here of Apex Legends here how you would say you know learn a couple characters learn four characters you go with, especially in each different category learn who you're good with a tank who you're good with a healer and who you're good with a damager and then extra force somewhere in between those two or in those in those three because those like I said those are the only three base characters there are of class types there's only a damager a tank and a healer. Those are the only things you got in here. Maybe they'll come out with different class types. Of course, they're probably going to come out with different characters. They have Friday maps. I'm not sure how many. Six, maybe seven. Not too many, but not too little. We'll see how it comes in the future because right now, of course, with this whole coronavirus thing where you can't know too much because, you know, stay at home, be safe, be smart, social distancing, all that stuff. You know, wash your hands. When you're out and about, don't touch your face. Uh, sanitary wipes and all that, you know, be smart, you know. But in the end, we'll have to wait and see how this game comes about. Like I said, it might not get too much attention here because it is a, this is so kind of unique of a game. It might not take off. It might, because of its uniqueness, take off. We'll have to wait and see. But like I said, this is my opinion upon it, at least for me as a gamer. Because, like I said, I had a bunch of games where it's like we were just basically destroying the enemy team, and then at the end, the last game, we just got destroyed, and I just quit out there because I could feel my rage coming out. Because, as I said in my another video of mine, is like that's where I basically lose my self control, my where an emotion can truly take me over is when I'm playing games and I'm getting destroyed. My rage will just grow and go, and just like it's like I can feel the anger. Taking over me and want to say or do something that I shouldn't. So I felt that coming out. It's like I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna cool down. I'm gonna you know watch some YouTube or whatever. Yeah, this is one of those games. Especially like I said, if you want those people like me too, if you get rage induced, especially when you get destroyed, this is like I said, one of those games. If you get destroyed, you are getting destroyed, and there feels like it just cannot come back. You know. If your team is just okay and the other team is basically, you know, a team of four friends who are just, you know, sticking together, destroying you, you're gonna get annoyed and probably quit. And it does have one of those function of a game where it can spawn in another person. Because I spawned in near end of a game on a game where my team was actually winning, though. So that was kind of odd, but whatever. Yeah. Well, it's a fun game if you can have fun in it, but it's one of those games like I said if you get destroyed and your rage and anger gets boiled up quick, like for me, it's one of those games that's gonna just probably annoy you at a bunch of different points. Fun overall, but I'm not sure if this is one of those games that's really gonna take off. It might, it might not, time will only tell, but at least for me, it's one of those games that's like I might have fun on it here and there, I'll jump into it. Here and there, but it's not one of those games I'm gonna focus so heavily on. Which is one of those games you're gonna kind of have to, because there are unlockables, like I said, cosmetics mostly. But you, through play, you do unlock those chips to uh, balance your characters however you want. But you can buy them. But from what I can tell, the currency of how quickly you unlock the currency to get to one, it costs like 25 to unlock one of these. And I played like seven, eight games, and I got up to I think maybe ten. Of the currency to unlock them because there's two different types of currency there's currency to unlock the chips and then this currency to unlock the cosmetics but yeah that's my overall i guess telling of the game and my opinion of the game it, it's a fun game but it's just one of those games at least for me it's gonna be like, i'll play it here and there but it's not gonna be one of those time consuming ones right now for me i'm actually kind of getting back into Elder Scrolls online 
they love the Skyrim too. I'm feeling out of scores on right now because I'm 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 enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. But I uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're informed, possibly entertained, and I hope you have a rock up second day. Peace.